Do Venus flytraps need light during dormancy? Well, let's find out. Okay, so the basic answer is no. They don't need any light during dormancy. However, there's kind of a catch, so I wanted to explain everything in this video. So, pretty much, Venus flytraps do not need any light during dormancy if you keep them at the correct temperature. So, that temperature range is in between 45 degrees Fahrenheit down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what I like to keep mine in during uh, dormancy. And for everyone outside of the U.S., that's going to be about, I'd say, 5 degrees Celsius down to negative 5 degrees Celsius. That's a safe temperature range for dormancy makes them nice and dormant but also it's cold enough to where these plants aren't photosynthesizing they're not actively growing and the added light is providing basically almost no benefit to the plants at all so for the months of december january and february i keep my venus fly traps in pure darkness in the garage at that temperature range now, naturally, when you see a container like this, you might be asking, well, if they don't need any sunlight during dormancy, why are you providing them this artificial light? Well, the reason I have this container is because I live in Chicago and it starts getting really cold kind of around October and the growing season is reduced. Chicago is a lot colder than their native range of North Carolina, which is further down south. So I like to extend my growing season and I have these lights on in the springtime and then in the fall so that my fly traps are still growing as much as possible. I like to give them a nice around seven to eight months of growth. Now, when it's cold enough, December, January, and February, my Venus flytraps are in complete darkness. I don't turn these lights on at all during that three-month period. So I also want to talk a little bit about indoor growing because a lot of people are going to be taking these plants and putting them inside of their house during the winter time. And you just heard, well, they don't need any light, right? So they're just fine on a windowsill or on your desk. But that's not correct, because, like I mentioned, there's a specific temperature range they have to be at in order to not be photosynthesizing and to not need this light. So like I said, if it's warmer than 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about, let's say, I don't know, 7 to 8 degrees Celsius, if it's warmer than that, they still are going to be trying to grow. They still are going to need to use light, either through LEDs or sunlight. And when people bring these inside of their house, put them on a windowsill, put them on their desk in their office or something or bedroom, and it's not getting enough light, they get light starved and they start dying. So how do you remedy that problem? Well, obviously, I recommend keeping your fly traps outside for the majority of the time. If it's super, super cold, bring them into the garage like I do here in Chicago. There's also the refrigerator dormancy, which I made a video about previously. And if you don't want to put them in the refrigerator, you don't want to have them inside a garage because you don't have any outdoor space. And you're going to be keeping them inside of your house, which I personally don't recommend, but it is kind of possible you need to get some good LED lights and you just shorten that photo period. So instead of getting a full day of sun, you mimic the daylight hours that it's going to be now like maybe, let's say 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. They get sunlight, they get the LED lights. These are, of course, yes, COM 225 panels. I'll have some light recommendations down in the description box. You shorten that photo period, but you still give them bright, intense light and they should grow fine for you. So that was basically the main point of this video. If it's going to be cold, then they don't need any sunlight. If you're going to attempt to have these inside of your house all year round, you are going to need some LED lights. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, of course, you can ask them in the comments section down below. Remember to subscribe and I'll be back with a new Venus flytrap video sometime this month.